Luton Town three. Yes, three. Arsenal four. Stoppage time, literally 97th minute winner mm. from Declan Rice. Kenny, I've said my say on my fan cam. Yeah, your time to shine, mate. What did you make of that tonight? I thought, I thought, I thought what's happening is that just shows you that the Premiership isn't the, the, the best league in the world. It's got it's riddled with errors, riddled with bad play, and you can still, you can still, you can still nick it in the end. I thought it says a lot that our, that Kai Havertz had a better game than um, Declan Rice, I regard than quite a few players. The only player that you know that came away with um, shot, you know, um, flying colours other than Kai Havertz was um, Bakaya Saka. You know, we, we'll talk about the goals at first. You know, like good play by um, Bakaya Saka. You know, you, you know where he took a quick, quick um, throwing routine. Gabriel Martinelli scored, and that was all he did afterwards. After that, after he scored, he did nothing. Right. Yeah, that, that, to be fair, sorry to cut you. Yeah, mm. yeah. Jesus. Yeah, if he hadn't pressured the goalkeeper, that goalkeeper turns has the whole field to kick it to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he kicks it out. Jesus, quick throw, fair play, Saka. Yeah, yeah but as for Martinelli, he was shocking tonight. Well, yeah, but yeah, but he, and then. The second goal, you know, good play by um, you know, Ben White and Jesus scores a, an expert header, brilliant play, didn't look comfortable. And then, you know, um, the third goal obviously was got good play by um, Kai Havertz. I don't know, he scored, you know, he scored more league goals than Jesus and Martinelli. Can you believe it? He scored more league hey, goals. I unlocked him. He was misunderstood at Chelsea. I don't know what's happened. He scored. I'm just, just letting you know. He scored hey, more league to, goals. Big up to Jesus, though, because he bodied that centre half, mate. And he's a mm. big lad. Yeah, he's bigger than you, Kenny. Yeah. yeah. He bodied him. And, and yeah, Clive's he didn't miss him there, mate. Anyway, that, 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 that was similar to that was a similar goal to he scored in the Champions League final. But let's just <laughs> let's just get the context of the game. In the context of the whole game. As I said before, we play like that against Liverpool, against Villa and Brighton, we're getting smashed to pieces. Because let me tell you something there. Poor day at the office, holy God. Let's, let's just, just be honest. Real, poor day at the office. You, sh you, sh you should have used your feet for the third goal. The third one, second goal, if you're going to come for the ball, you've got to get it. You've got to elbow anyone out of the way. Doesn't matter yeah. whether you're flat or not. You come for that, you get it. If you if you if you don't think you're going to get it, stay in your line and take your chances. Declan Rice for that second goal was a disgrace. The way he let Adi ba Adi Bayo, you know, get in front of him, he wasn't strong enough. There, Adi Bayo was too strong for him. Adi Bayo has a free header. That's poor marking from you know Declan Rice. The guy's getting all these plaudits. Well, hang on here. You got to be marked down. I will call it as I say. You had a good season. But the way people bigging you up now, and because you scored a winner and saying, "Oh, he's carrying his team, he's back," that's an insult to all the other players. That's an insult <laughs> to every single player, even players that you know we, we're on their back sometimes. It wasn't a deck and rise performance. The better players were the Luton players. The man in the match was a, a, someone in an orange, a tangerine shirt. It wasn't an Arsenal player. You know, Martinelli f fluffed his lines again. Trossard when he came on, yeah. He, he did a few bits and pieces, but it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't that great. Let's be honest. I regard I've already touched on him. I thought Kivio help me out here, mate. Terrible Kivio was shocking. Ben White setting off non existent as well. He weren't great either. So in all in in the context of all, all of that, somehow we found a way to win the football match. I don't know how this is how it's possible. We we done it because we rode our luck today. We really rode our luck. Sorry. Yeah, we did. And, and, and let's be real. Right, the first 20 minutes, yeah, they were like, press, press, press. And I'm sitting on the watch along. And I'm sitting there and I'm going, it's kind of calm. We're keeping it mm. chill. Yeah, but they got six players in our half. All we've got to do yeah, mm. is man up a little bit. Yeah. One, two, three touches, mm. quick passing. We bypass the press. We mm. then get the goal. Well done to Gabby Jesus. Press the keeper. Quick throw in. Saka Martinelli. Bang. Done. Yeah. But then mark your man. Yeah. Do your job. Yeah. Mm. We let him straight back in the game, Kenny. And it's like, come well, on. But, 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 that, but that's that's how we've been playing. You know, I don't... Luton got in amongst us. We had no rhythm in our play. 
They work their nuts off. And, you know, we benefited from the fact that we tied. As I said all season, it's our athleticism that's keeping us in the games. We're not playing great. A lot of people are going to take, you know, think, oh, yeah, we should um, be more happy. Of course we're happy. We've got three points. We're still, you know, five points clear of them. Um, we're now, you know, five points clear of, um, I think, City, four points clear of yeah, Liverpool. five of Liverpool, six of City. Yeah, six of City. Five of Liverpool, six of City. So you've got to be happy. But the situation is, is we've been down this road before where we've conceded goals, you know, like there's goals, in where we've conceded them, like I said, some semblance of control of a football match. Look how it ended last season, where we weren't taking the necessary control, we weren't keeping the necessary key seats. We, You know, and that cost us in, in the straight when it came for the end you know, of the league. A lot of people on Twitter are going, oh, what did Ramsdale do wrong, or blah, blah. I mean, and people are saying we've got a goalkeeping problem. Don't rewrite history here because I was at the Brentford game and Ramsdale weren't great. And let's not forget, we would have had the same problem with Ramsdale with his kicking. All right, we may not, he may um, have, not, you know, like I said, not made them, um, you know, mistake, the odd mistake that Ramsdale has made. But in terms of like kicking, the problem with what Ramsdale, you know, was, was pr producing last season is that his clearances were going straight to an opposition and putting us under more pressure. So we're, we're in a bit of quagmire, you know. I hope that, you know, Ray improves them on Saturday and he improves the rest of the season because the fact is, is he's trying to turn a corner, but this is English football. This is how it is. You know, Luton are very, very direct side. They they work very hard on set pieces. Ross, Ross Barkley, you know, looked like Maradona out there. Well, that's brilliant. I thought, I thought um, you know, I thought... Tanzen looked great out there as well. It was like they gave everything and everything, but the fact that we had more options up front, the fact yeah, that we used Ross Tanzen Townsend and Ross Barkley shined in a game against Arsenal playing for Luton. Yeah, that yeah. sums it up right there, mate. Yeah, sums it up right there. Yeah, they ploughed through our midfield. Mm. Yeah, our midfield was anonymous. Mm. It's and yeah, but, but and that and that's the thing. We 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 are going to take the, you know, like the positive things is that we score four goals. But it's how you play sometimes because it has an indication on um the next few games. You know, Villa's going to be a different game, but Villa are going to look at that this now. Off, obviously, they're going to concentrate on Man City. But if they get something for Man City, they're going to look at that and they're going to that midfield that they talk about. You know, that could be got at. We we know. Villa are going to think, right, we're better than Luton. We can get in their faces. Also, we've got more quality in terms of our passing. Like McGinn, Louise, I'm going to look at that game and think, right, I want some of that. And it'll be the same situation when we play against Brighton as well. Their midfield, you know, even though they haven't got Casado anymore, but they still got good, good players, they're going to be encouraged by that. And Liverpool have ripped their midfield to pieces. They're going to be encouraged by that. So we're not out of the woods yet. We're winning, but that performance, you know, was 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 an eyesore. It was an eyesore. Let's be honest. It was one of their worst performances in terms of passing wise, in terms of control of the game. Defensively, it was bad as well, and you know, goalkeeping wise, it was it wasn't a great day at the office. I would like to be positive, and I'm I was jumping up and down. We've got the goals, but I'm looking at it and thinking, come on, man, champions don't play like that, mate. You don't win championship. You don't win. Yeah, but people are sitting there, Kenny, saying it was a sign of champions. We fought. Well, they would. They would. They, they, they would say. They would say that. They, blah, they, blah, they blah, would say that because the rights. Yeah, they have. They would say that, and because we scored a last minute goal and we showed our bounce back ability, but champions champions don't concede three goals at Kenilworth Road. Champions don't get bullied. Bullied, like our midfield did at Kenilworth Road. Only God got bullied today. Let's get let's get it right. Saka and what Saka was a lot better than Martinelli, and that weren't difficult. But there were times where you know he, he had a bit of difficulties. But at least he tried to affect the game. Quavert in the setting off didn't even recognise him. I don't recognise this player that I was criticising because he actually wanted a piece of it. Yeah, he was one of our better players. 
One of he was one of the players. better players. Uh, I don't know where, whether it's Kai Havertz, who's... Um, he was still shocking for their third goal, by the way. Yeah, he, 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 yeah I'll give you that. He was shocking, but hang on it. Odegaard but at least more, he had a goal before that. Yeah, but he Odegaard... Odegaard was at fault for that third goal. Oh, he's mate, the one he who kept your face He was the one who got beaten up in Crazy. midfield. And he, he actually got away with one in the, um, after they got the third goal with Mbane. When Mbane yeah, that was still strong for him, the referee, the referee helped him out there. Yeah, because so, they were in. That, yeah, they were in. And and I think that's the, that, that's where we were able to get in the game. One thing I would say is that we deserve to win it because the last 10 minutes, it was only us. It was... It was putting the crosses in. It was up, it was looting. It was the last ditch. We kept on going for that winner. So respect to that. But a lot of that is not down to our quality. It's down to our athleticism and our fitness. But as we can say, athleticism and fitness and defence are not the only ingredients that win you the league. You've got to have a bit of quality. You've got to have a bit of composure. Right. And if we can marry all of that, we've, we've got a really good chance. But if we play like that, then we're going to lose momentum pretty quickly. I'm going into right. going to those I'm games good. in December, you know that we got to put that out of mind and never play that again because we play that again on Saturday, next Sunday, and the week afterwards against Liverpool, we're getting absolutely spanked. So yeah, right. can't play like that. Make sure you follow Kenny Ken nineteen seventy two on Insta. And uh, Jez is up next. Then Matty. Then player ratings. Check my fan cam out. Uh, big up to everyone inside. And we're out. Laters.